Welcome to Rohit Tech Zone. Today in this video, we are going to see how to create an a, a, a game. So we are going to create an Android game with, uh, or you can also use it for iOS and space shooter game. So it is going to be interesting. We are going to create using JavaScript. So I will be saying this step by step thing, uh, uh, thing how to create the game. So before that, I will show you a uh, show you thing that when I click the left click, uh, you can see the red color thing around my mouse. And when I click right click, you can see blue color thing around my mouse. So you can identify my clicks with it. And it will be helpful. Uh, uh, you can see what I am doing. First, go to Chrome and type code dot over the URL tab and click enter. You can see a page like this. Click on sign in. So you can you, you can create a code dot over the account, but uh, I prefer continuing with Google. It is easy. Just give a Google account and it enters. And now here you you just have to go to the create section and uh, uh, logging into code.org has an advantage that uh, you can view your project anytime and anywhere it will be saved in the cloud of the code.org and go to game lab create and game lab so it opens like this and project click on remix so after it loads you can re uh, you can rename it so I'm just giving Space Shooter, which is the name of our game. And click save. So now I'm, I am, yeah, now it's good. And this is the run space where the game preview will be shown. And now I'm making it smaller because first we are going to start the coding. So uh, you can also use blocky codes like this. But I do not prefer it. Typing the code is faster and easier way. And this is the function draw. Anything you put inside the function gets loops again and again. So let me actually first uh, create a variable. Where? So before that, I will show you one thing in the animation. You should you, you can add the init uh, thing in your animation. So let's go uh, go to the animation section and enter something like uh, space or yeah space. This we can use it for the background. So yeah, this is space. We can use it for the background. It is around 400 and 400 pixels and even the, our work area is 400 and 400 pixels. You can see the over here, the X and Y of the mouses are 400, 400, 300, 400, 400. So yeah, this fills up the whole thing. Yeah, it's a GIF like thing, but we don't need the GIF. So I'm deleting the other things. So it's your wish to use the satin thing or this thing. I'm going to use this thing. And next, create an animation for the shooter. So let's go to vehicles. Yeah. So we need a uh, uh, human, uh, human thing, controllable thing, and also the enemy thing. So for human, I'm going to give this enemy black. So uh, this I'm going to give it for human and I'm going to add another one and just uh, go to vehicles So uh, and for enemies now. So for human we have used this design. For enemies let's use the uh, enemy 2 design. So I'm giving the enemy 2. We can just create four types of enemies. Sorry, this is not proper. Yeah, we have used the number two, so we can give number two in every color. Number two. You can also see something like this. I think we can use the play this for player. So wait a minute. First, let's complete for enemies. 
yeah number two so we have created four enemies so let me delete this and add an player thing yeah so for this i'm gonna add this spaceship blue one i think this looks better yeah now for renaming it uh, for making it easy you just have to click it and rename i'm gonna rename this as uh, enemy one and i'm gonna rename this as enemy two I'm gonna rename this as enemy T. This as enemy four. Yeah, that's it. And this is player. Yeah, this is fine. And this, let me put it as BG background. Yeah. If needed, we can add some more stars like this. So for that, you just have to go to the rectangle tool, sorry, the uh, rectangle selection tool and select the star which you like. And now copy it and move this and paste it wherever you want. So I don't like this planet, so I'm just placing in star instead. So yeah, and now I'm copying the smaller star CTRL C and CTRL V for uh, pasting it. You just have to move it with the mouse. So yeah, now the smaller stars. Yeah, I think this is fine. We can add one more bigger star over here. Yeah, now we have completed the animations of our thing, of our game. So we, we have to create a variable player equals create to the uh, the player thing, uh, the object is known as sprite in the code.org. So we need to give us create sprite. First, we have to give the x position. So we can give the x position as uh, around 200. You can calculate the x by keeping the mouse. And comma y is around. I think 340 will be fine. Yeah. But the X position can be anything. It's your wish because uh, I will say, say you within some minutes. And the next is the, well, this thing. This is actually width and height. Height. So for the width, uh, I am giving 10 and th even this we will be changing it later. Sorry, the X position should be in the play in the place of uh, anything over the uh, over the line you need. So you can see over here, I'll give the X is X around uh, 300, 200. Yeah, the altitude. So the thing is, you can give the X as any any number you want. I will say you within a minute why and create variable for enemy one equals create sprite I think we no need for enemies we can create a function for enemy later and now uh, let's define the background color So this is not important background color. I'm just giving it as blue. Yeah. And next we can just, uh, we just need to view draw sprites. Yeah. 
let's uh, run the program and check so here you can see the sprite which we have created which is 10 pixels and 10 pixels height and width now we have to assign the animation uh, the player name to it so let's assign it you have to use player dot set animation to player and now we are so here in, uh, after uh, every command you just need to give the give the sign so now let's run it so you can see that now uh, now you can see that it is uh, being displayed and now i think the height is not proper so you have to give player dot scale scale equals 0 0.5 which is the half the size of this i think half the size would be okay yeah now it is fine now we need to control it the control the exposition left or right for the game so for, for that we have to use so the let's move the draw sprites over down and now for that we have just have to do something uh, something like uh, player dot x position x is equal to so yeah player dot x is equal to mouse capital x so yeah now it's fine now let's run the program you can see wherever i move moving the mouse the player is moving so it is so simple so next thing is i have to set the background to to the back back for that I'm just, I need to create a variable before the player variable. So uh, when it, uh, the player should be visible above the background uh, uh, background sprite. So for that I am giving it uh, giving the background at the top at the first. So bg variable bg is equal to create sprite. Create sprite bracket. So we have to do two hundred, comma two hundred, comma four hundred. So we just have to cover the full screen. Four hundred, comma four hundred. Yeah. Now here you can see the background is looking looking like this now we have to set the animation for that we have to give bg dot set animation yeah set animation bg so here we can see now it looks so cool so the next thing is we are gonna create the thing moving uh, scrolling the stars the star scrolling like like thing so for, let's create that so for the so for the scrolling thing we just have to add a command after the after the variable which we have created bg dot set sorry bg dot y equals bg dot height divided by two you can add space over here so this command is that the y position which is which is the top bottom this position should be uh, should be the half of the size it should be in the center it should start from the center so next over here you should do an if command if now inside the bracket dg dot y is more than 100 then 
so sorry bg dot y is bg dot y is less than 100 so when the y position let's reset it when the y position is less than 100 at this point when it is less than 100 it should uh, reset it it should create the animation again new animation we have to set so before that we have to add the command bg dot velocity so many of you know the uh, know what is velocity i'm gonna give velocity y because it should move upwards and the velocity is the speed of how uh, in here the velocity is the uh, how much pixel it should move per second so i'm uh, for increasing from bot to uh, top we have to decrease the pixels minus i i'm giving minus three and this so now let me show you now it is moving above but the another uh, sky is not created for that if bg.y is more than 100 then we have to do that bg dot y sorry small y is equal to bg dot height divided by 2 and this yeah now let's run the program so now it looks like this so let's give less than zero will be proper i guess so yeah uh, actually now it is not proper we have to deal so we have to debug it now so let's use 100 100 so now as you can see when it is uh, uh, so here let me explain you uh, we have created a set of the bg dot y is equal to bg dot height divided by 2 setting set the y position so the, the thing which is the, the double thing uh, is the uh, is for uh, giving an command let me show you so this is actually message it it does not execute in the code and uh, you can use it to explain so bg dot uh, we can do it as uh, setting the creating and spread so uh, when we use this we can uh, get an idea why is the why we are be using the certain thing and we can uh, this is uh, this actually makes the pro programming simpler and can make anyone to understand so uh, yeah now, now let's come to debugging now the, we are setting the y position as a uh, height divided by 2 around 200 yeah it is 200 so here you can see the backgrounds high width into height is given over here uh, it is 400 into 400 so the height is 400 divided by 2 is around 400 so it just it starts from the center and it uh, it gets the velocity minus 3 and moving up when the it is up uh, over here so the height is uh, below 100 it refreshes it again so we have to now fix it for that we have to increase the canvas size now go to resize and give the height as uh, 800. Yeah, now click resize. So now it is not proper. Now maintain aspect, aspect ratio can be removed. Now let's try it. Yeah, now it's fine. So here you can see now it's fine, but uh, the stars are uh, uh, stars are not proper. It looks awkward. So for that now we can just resize it to 400. So this is the normal thing which you can see. For that now we can just uh, copy the thing. CTRL x uh, ctrl x uh, which uh, removes it and it copies it in the clipboard now we can resize it to 800 height 800 
Now resize it. So yeah, now it is 800. So let's move back. I have done a mistake. Yeah, now you have to copy it. CTRLX and now resize height should be 800 and resize yeah now it has been changed up now paste it over here yeah I have pasted it now paste it on the bottom too yeah and the sides are not proper so I am pasting it over here too yeah I think it's fine now. Now let's just the code. We have to do it again because the stars are broken half in the sides. For that, we just have to find where the stars are broken. So yeah, it's over here. For that, uh, let's uh, go to the rectangle tool and copy the empty area and paste it over these stars. So we can fix the bug like this. So yeah, now it looks fine. Now let me zoom in. Yeah, now, the, now let's run it. Yeah, now it's okay. We can use this. And now it's time to create the enemies. For that, let's create a function. Function and creating as enemy one or something like that. Yeah, enemy one. Now the function has been created. So you have to create the function outside the function draw. So this is the function draw. We are opening a curly bracket over here and ending it over here. Now outside that we have to create another function. Function enemy1 I am creating. You can use your own name over for here. But the draw is a predefined name. You cannot change that. Now in function draw you have to, you have to first create a variable. Variable. Enemy one. So enemy one equals create sprite. Yeah, create sprite. So I'm just giving the position as one one ninety one comma one twenty five. So it does not, uh, it creates only one enemy when you are using by this way. So now I am just creating a sprite only to explain. So we have to set the depth of it. So wait a minute. So depth is the thing where the sprite is created back. So before that we are now have crea created a function. But we have to call the function over here. To call the function. We have to uh, call uh, uh, type the function name inside the function class. Enemy1. And this bracket means we are use calling a function. So we are getting an error. It's because we have to use this sign. So yeah, here you can see the sprite 
uh, which is created in the given position but we have to create it in a random position for that we have to uh, and we have to create multiple uh, multiple enemies of same type uh, so around uh, four in this uh, four in each thing in the four in each line so for that i'm gonna create create the random uh, x, uh, x value and the random y value so the uh, sorry the x value will, will not be random because we are gonna create it uh, create multiple things so we are gonna make that uh, yeah, it should be every 60 frame uh, frames so i i didn't explain you frames frames means a video or uh, everything is created above multiple images and that is called uh, frame frames per second you may hear heads and computer display frames per second something uh, yeah, yeah things like that so the frames in computers are measured in uh, heads and also you can say here the frames per second or uh, like that so for that well, we have to give every 60 frames uh, one animation should be created every every six uh, 50 frames another animation should be created and like that and uh, and the frames should be uh, uh, when we divide the value it should be equals to uh, the remainder should be uh, zero so for the remainder let's do if bracket semicolon bracket you have to give world w o r l d dot frame world dot frame count give a space and in the we have to you have to click click the shift and click five number five in the keyboard for this modulo so this is known as modulo the percentage symbol and give space sorry frame count 60 space 60 space modulo zero so what i think i'm wrong yeah equals should be given Wait a minute. So, so uh, frame count modulo 60 should be equal to 0. So, if, when you are giving a condition inside if and it should be equal to one value, you have to give triple equals. So, now let's uh, run it. So, when, when the frame count uh, is uh, is we can divide by zero the variable has been created the sprite has been created now let's do it uh, diff in a different way so uh, whenever the remainder is zero it cre creates multiple sprites in the same uh, same uh, x position one int now let's test it in another way i'm gonna give the x position as uh, random one minute yeah x position is random number Yeah, random number and here the starting value should be a should be one comma oops we can keep it as one and the ending value should be 400 now let's run the program So here you can see it is creating the sprite randomly over here.
but it is not proper it is overlapping in each other so we cannot use this type of method so we have to change the verb method so now instead of a random number instead of a random number let's uh, let's give that word so before that uh, now let's uh, create another one variable variable we can keep it as frame equals world dot frame count yeah now here you can see variable frame is equal to world dot frame count now here you have to give the variable frame now let's run the program So you can see an sprite here, over here, over here, over here, over here. So every 60 frames an animation is created. So next we have to create, make the white, white thing random from 50 to 87. We can do random number equals sorry bracket starting and the ending value 52 85 we can keep so now it picks a random number and uh, it do it sets it for y so yeah now this is fine but we have to create the sprite when the game starts uh, quickly. So this uh, uh, now this case, this is not possible. This method is not proper. For that, let's use an, another method. So now, so now we can use another way. So instead of enemy one, I'm gonna give enemy. Uh, and uh, here we can we have named enemy 1, 2, th enemy 3, enemy 4. So what if we, we created in uh, same kind of way but uh, multiple, uh, multiple enemies which can be shootable and the enemy type should be different. So let's uh, create it. For that... Yeah, here we have, we have to change uh, change it. Create uh, we have to uh, create the animation for that. Enemy one dot set. Let's uh, assign another one variable. Variable uh, rand is equal to random number. From 1, 2, 4. We have 4 enemies, so I am giving 1, 2, 4. Now enter it. Enemy, let me, yeah, enemy 1 is a variable name. Sorry, we can change it as enemy itself. Enemy dot set animation. Here we can do it as uh, the uh, double quotes enemy plus so enemy plus random number. Let's check it. Here you can see random enemies has been generated. Next, it's time to scale it. So we are getting an error that enemy is already defined. 
we can do it as uh, enemy one itself no problem it's not a problem so let's give it as enemy next we have to scale it enemy dot scale equals 0.5 now let's find it yeah now it is in correct thing but we have to change this frame around 100 or something yeah but yeah now we are gonna create an another variable randx the rand x should be random number starting from around 50 so random y let's change the name starting from 50 and ending to up to 205 and now instead of frame let's keep it as uh, sorry ran oops yeah we have to change the value over here ctrl x uh, rand and now we cannot run we can test running the program So you can see and why yeah now let's run the problem yeah now it is create being created in a random position but it is not proper it is it is overlapping and like this so we can use the x position and why so why let it be over here like uh, yeah it let it be here and the x can be the frames i guess yeah we can create where frames equals world dot frame count now the x can be frame count sorry frames frames yeah randy and y yeah now let's run the program So yeah, here you can see the first thing has been created and it multiple thing is being created. And uh, it is created in a random design. Yeah. Now we have to give another thing. Reminder is zero and 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 world dot frame so we'll, uh, in a multiple of uh, multiple of hundred we can change it into sixty itself. Let's try it. Now let's run it. So the first sprite, sorry we have to delete this, let's run it again. So the, yeah, the first sprite is created over here and it is creating multiple sprites. 
I think uh, 980 will be fine. Let's test it out. Yeah, I think this is fine. Now the Y position should be not around 200. Let's keep it around 110. Now let's run it. So the first set of uh, uh, animations is being created over here. So we have to add another command. And and. So you, when you are using this symbol. The straight line when you are putting two. If this, uh, this is uh, uh, possible or the another. Another. Uh, uh, Situation is possible, it will run. We have we need and and. So now let me show you. Say why I am adding and and. So let me show you. So the, when the first animation is created in the 60th frame and the next is created in the next uh, 120, 180 and it goes on. And where it is uh, the next animation is created over here and it is half. So, uh, 4 can fit inside it. We have uh, we, so and the and and world dot frame and and world dot frame equals 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 around we can just keep it as of the 16 to 4 340 yeah this will be fine sorry we have to give 5350 is more than is less than or equal to 350 yes let's keep run the program and see I think we have done some mistake. Let's check it now. Sorry, we have to give. That is not the problem. So I forgot to mention the world dot frame count. So here you need to add the word count. Now let's run it. So your first animation has been created. And the next is being created. The next. Next. Yeah. Now it stops creating the next animation. I think this will be fine for our uh, for our thing. Now we have to create another set of uh, animation in the second the next row which starts from around 85 for that let's give another command variable land y Equal rand y one. I'm giving rand y one is equals random number starting from eighty five and ending in one fifty. Sorry, hmm. sorry. It should not start from eighty five. Here, this is the y value. It should start from, we are ending at 110 over here. So the next should start from around 130 and end at 190. Let's try it. 130 and end at, so we can keep it as 200. It should end at 200. And now we are just, we can just copy it and paste the same thing. And but here you need to give rand y1. Yeah. 
random. Yeah, now let's run it again. So yeah, you can see that it is being created. Uh, it is collabing over here. So around uh, 150 will be fine, I guess. Let's run it. So yeah, now it is picking multiple random numbers and just uh, putting the Y positions are like that. I think this is fine. Uh, and uh, but uh, it is actually creating in the same frame frame size uh, frames uh, 60 60 frame. Uh. Uh, I will, let's move it somewhat slide right side by 20 here in frames plus 20 now let's run it so yeah the, the distance between the first and the second is somewhat uh, slight uh, more, uh, different so this it is not in the straight path as this is so now uh, we have to do uh, we have to create the bullets i think we can add an animation for bullet it will be interesting so for that let's search for any image no we cannot get any image for bullet so let's draw our own create draw your your own so yeah now let's resize to around 25 and 5 will be fine I guess resize sorry 5 and 25 let's try it so now I have to test the size so I'm coloring it like this and now I'm just creating a variable bullet equals uh, create sprite create right bracket x y width and height so the x should let me just keep, keep a rough thing as 190 comma 290 yeah now bullet dot set animation set animation So please wait a minute. So yeah, we were here. Set animation to let's rename the animation as bullet. Let me name it. Yeah, now let's run it. So I think this fine, this size is for fine for bullet. Yeah, this fine, this size is fine. Or else let's reduce by five pixels around twenty. This size. Now let's check it. Yeah, this is this is fine. We can have this. So now we can make some four bullets. One add a bullet. I think black is not we don't need black. Let's change the color to green. We can create many bullets in many colors. So the back. So yeah. Wait. So the background is actually in blue color. 
so in contrast to that let's create multiple bullets and let's also do something cool for the bullet let's give red and pen this is good for a bullet let's create another one bullet two yeah and let's resize it so 5 and 20 resize yeah so I have got an idea that let's create a GIF like thing so just create a click add a new frame draw your own yeah new frame is here let's color it with uh, green the same color we have used so let's duplicate this frame yeah now here use the color picker to pick the same color and use the pen tool to fill it yeah now let's uh, use the color picker again to pick the red and just color it at the bottom yeah now let's just check it it looks so so cool yeah you can see that the color has been, is changing yeah let's create another bullet so in real world the bullet does not change so if you need to create a GIF like the thing you can just duplicate the frame and just change it but now I'm not gonna do that let's create uh, another thing like bullet 2 and now let's fill it with the uh, red color So the top, I'm gonna fill it with the yellow color. I think it's like nice. So and when you use the right click, it uh, actually erases the thing. Let's create bullet P. Let's resize it. I one key resize. Yeah. Mm, let me give blue color with contrast to turquoise blue. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna give turquoise blue. Let me go the red again. I think the red is repeated, so I will go green again. So yeah, now let's draw another one bullet. Bullet four. Let's resize it to five and twenty. Yeah. So I'm gonna do some modifications to it, something like purple. So now it looks awesome. Now bullet four. So I'm gonna use my favorite combinations for this. Yeah, this pink with turquoise. Yeah, I think this is super cool. So yeah, we have created four bullets. Let's create a final one. Bullet five. Five twenty pieces. Let me go orange with black. Yeah. I think this looks like a match trick. Yeah, it's over. Now we don't need the command which we created for the bullet, which is right here. Let's delete it. 
so now go uh, go down after function enemy let's create another function function bullet yeah now here in function bullet why is two times yeah here in function bullet we are uh, we are gonna play uh, use a thing if so my my condition is to if we click the space bar it should actually shoot bullet Oops. so if i click the space bar it should shoot bullet from the uh, from the position of the place where, from the top of the player spaceship so let's go if key down key went down so there are uh, two things if key down key went down so key down uh, let me use key down and show you what it comes so i'm using key down function and giving space yeah if key down space then variable and sh variable should be created and sorry i'm using the function thing variable equals bullet equals create sprite four hundred sorry the x position should be wait a minute this does not breaks reset yeah i didn't call the function so let's give it as bullet so yeah now let's run it sorry i have not given the x and y position so the x position should be so where is the x position mm, sorry the y position yeah the y should position should be the position of the player so yeah it's here the y we have given it as uh, 340 so here also we have to give so the for the x position we have to give we can simply give something like uh, player dot x comma uh, 340 is the uh, y position of the player so we can give 350 60 let's try 350 let's try so comma Five comma twenty. Let's try it. So you can see a bullet is created, and when I keep on clicking the space, multiple bullets are created. So in order to avoid this, we have to do do one thing. That is here key went down. So this is the difference between key down and key went down. So when you give key went down, you should actually uh, whenever from the, the space bar is going from top to down, the program runs. And when it is always in the down, it the program does not runs. Now let's check. Now I'm holding the key. Only one bullet is uh, created. When I release and again hold the key, key the another bullet is uh, created. Now we have to set a velocity. Velocity. So and another one thing. One minute. Let's hash it out. Yeah. Another one thing. It should be created at the top of the spaceship, human spaceship. So the y position is not proper. So let's give the y position as around three hundred and seventy. 
so yeah now it is aligned at the bottom now we have to check the height of this is uh, 75 so 340 around 320 will be fine i guess 300 will be fine i guess let's check it i think it's too much top so 320 let's check again 310 let's check it so 307 i think this will be the correct place no 300 and sorry 312 yeah this is proper now we have to set a velocity for that bullet dot velocity y equals so whenever moving up it decreases the num pixels so and just need to give minus a uh, 8 let's test is the speed is okay yeah this is fine now we have to set the animation for the bullet so after creating the sprite, let's keep our cursor and give bullet dot set animation. To the different animation. Before that, let's create a random and variable. Variable. So rand b which is for random bullet equals random number starting from 1 to ending at 5 so we have 5 bullets so let's keep it as so let's check again we have named the bullets yeah 1 2 3 4 5 yeah now set animation bullet plus five sorry uh, ram b let's check it yeah now random uh, bullet has been is being created let's go to the next step Let's create an So now let's add a sound when the bullet is uh, being shooted. Let's use over here. We have to do we can use this block the play sound block. Play sound. Now it's time to go to the blocky thing. So yeah, here just click on this arrow and click choose and search for shoot. Now let's choose an sound. Yeah, this will be fine and let's choose it. Now let's choose. So yeah, now it looks good. Whenever the bullet is being shooted, the sound is being played. So yeah, now we have to uh, we have to do the when the bullet is touching the thing, the po there should be point increasing over here, and also uh, the bullet should be destroyed. So let's uh, let's plan for that. But uh, when you are giving the if condition inside the function draw, uh, if it uh, bullet dot is touching the enemies, it should destroy. And uh, the point should increase by one. So yeah, when you are giving that, the, we have yeah, we have in, given the variable inside the function. So we have to make it correct. We should uh, so, uh, before uh, we have to make uh, make the variable inside the uh, setup. So let's create a variable. Just we can copy the thing which we have already created. Yeah, this thing. Copy it and uh, 
let me give hash hash creating the enemy variable yeah now i'm pasting this now instead of rand y and frames i'm giving outside the circle outside the uh, canvas 500 comma 500 but the canvas size is 400 comma 400 so now it is outside the canvas and uh, next here over here i am just going to remove the remove the va variable because we already created the variable now the same thing we have to do for the bullet let's copy it let's slash slash creating the bullet variable So now I am going to create outside the frame and here I am going to remove the variable. And now uh, this variable, will, uh, uh, now we have to set the x and y for, uh, for the variable. Or the, now let's check the code. So yeah, and now there is a variable created in the name of bullet and we cannot call uh, call the function name the same name. So I'm going to keep it as one and enemy also we have created enemy one and I'm going to change the function as enemy one and bullet one. Now let's run it. Now the bullet is also creating and this, uh, this is also creating. Now we have to go inside function draw. Before that, let's make it look more cool and neat. After this, let's give a space so that it will be easy for us to understand. And let's give some commands. Marking. Or else we can give setting the X of the player. Now I'm just hitting enter once again, calling the function so you may ask uh, just coding is enough but uh, creating uh, uh, some commands like this makes the code looks easier to read and easier to rectify if we got any bugs in future. Now let's you drawing the sprites so yeah and now just copy the thing inside the if and you inside the whole function draw and you press tab yeah now it looks neat and even here copy everything and just click tab and align it in the same position so now let me add the commands for everything So yeah, we have done the uh, entering messages and now we are, let's come on, uh, come to the function draw, which is over here, function draw and inside function draw, create an if condition and inside if I bullet dot is touching In 
inside bracket you should put enemy so when the if the bullet is touching the enemy first we need to destroy the enemy go to sprites and here you can see the destroy thing you can just drag and drop or you can type bullet dot destroy so yeah now let's check it out so it does not work we need to rectify it if bullet dot is touching so before giving it a, as destroy let's check by giving sound play sound so yeah here play sound choose and simply going to collect and choosing the sound yeah now let's test it it does not work let's check what is the problem so yeah i have found it that uh, now here you have to you so we have just created the enemy sprite over here and now it is outside the canvas now you have to view variable sorry uh, enemy dot so here yeah enemy dot x equals frames and uh, so after some minutes i have found the error why is it not working so actually we have to add and command that uh, bullet dot uh, x equals so you know that uh, bullet which is uh, here yeah which is over here will be um, will actually be created at the first and uh, th that will be considered uh, in, in here and we are not changing this uh, bullets x to the uh, players x uh, player uh, x position so we actually uh, has defined if the bullet which is outside the canvas is touching the enemies it should play the sound so we are we just have to change some things yeah yeah over here in the bullet yeah bullet dot x is equal to player dot x and next here in frames uh, in enemies we have to add this line enemies dot x is equal to frames and enemy dot y is equal to enemy y dot sorry rand 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 y and also over here we have to add the code no yeah uh, no so, uh, sorry only once is enough now let's test it out so we are getting some error cannot set property of x let's hash it out let's run it again 
let's slash it out again let's run it again so there is some problem again sound category collect so yeah we have to stop the sound let's try that No, it is not correct. Let's debug it again. So, yeah, I have fixed the bug, and uh, yeah, yeah, I have not changed anything big. I have just changed, uh, I have uh, put the bo both command and after that set up the animation once again to the enemy one and again I am scaling it to 0 0.5 uh, and that's it. Uh, now it works. Now let's give the if command. Yeah, we have already given the if and now at play sound. So now choose so now let's keep a sound like point so i think uh, this uh, this one is better the first one let me choose that so that's it let's check it now I think we have to stop the sound before that. So let's stop the sound. Let's copy the URL. Paste it over here. And again stop sound. Copy this URL and paste here. Now let's try. So I'm not sure why it it does work only twice. Let's see why. So let's go to the function bullet. So I have found why it is happening like that. So now when if you observe that, when the first is coming, it uh, it uses when I again the uh, um, do do the same thing it does not use the sound but when i go to the last created thing it the sound again comes so we have to think a way to solve this problem so yeah i have found a way to do it so that is uh, 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 i have taught a logic that what if when we create the first uh, first animation of the enemy, if we store it into a uh, variable, and uh, the next when the next thing creates, if we store it into the same variable without replacing a, into an another object, and what if we give the command if it is touching that variable, it should. Uh, I give the sound. So I thought, uh, then I thought how to do it. Then I got this command, uh, that, that group. So group is an amazing way to do this. For that, uh, I have to give, I needed to, to give this command. Let me show you. Let me give enter slash slash creating group for this is 
for enemies and next variable group name i'm gonna give enemy group equals create group then this and this and g should be in capital so yeah we have created the group now let's go to the enemy and we have to add a thing to the add the enemy to the group after we are scaling we are scaling the first enemy we have to give this command enemy group enemy group dot add enemy so yeah next let's leave a space over here and slash slash adding object to the enemy to the group so now we are adding the first line to the group. Now copy the same code and go down. Yeah, here we are here we are scaling it again. So paste it again over here. And then next is over here before the last line of the function let's paste it so let's select everything and press tab once so that's it now in the if command which we have already created Let's find it. Yeah. So it's inside the function. Right? Yeah. We have given the enemy. Now change it to enemy group. We don't need. Uh, yeah. We can just run it. So now the sound is playing. Now again. Now for again to the front. Now yeah, now it is working fine. And now we have to destroy the bullet. Let's go over here. And here we have to go to destroy yeah here. Bullet dot destroy. Yeah. Now it's fine. Now let's run it and check whether it works. Yeah, it works. Fine. So the, the next thing is to add a scoreboard. Whenever it touches, the score should add. So let's key uh, inside the function raw. Here we can use the first, uh, let's change the text size to around 22. I think 22 will be fine. And next the text as score. and this yeah now let's check it sorry this has to be changed to around 150 will be right I guess 150 now let's run it oops it's not showing Let's paste it over here. Let's try changing its color. No, 
it is not displaying I think let's create it inside a variable and check whether it works. First, let's see can we join the text inside the variable. Let's draw it outside and get the text. No, it doesn't work. So I have found the problem and uh, I have found the way how to fix it. So it's just simple. And uh, we uh, first uh, I thought that uh, the sprite is being uh, 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 well, 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 what is being drawn will be displayed above the sprite I have taught. But then I have seen this uh, draw sprites. So uh, at this point the sprite has been drawing. So when we give the text after this uh, we could uh, fix our problem. So let's give text double quotes and the score and next comma 150 comma let's give it as 25 and next text dot text size is actually 23 or 22 will be fine now let's run it yeah, now here it is being displayed. So we have to give a good con contrast color to it. So at the next, we have to do fill. And next, over here, yeah. Let's do yellow. Oops. Yeah, okay. So yeah, now I think anything like pink will be fine. So we need a dot pink. So let's Google it. Dark pink or BB code. So yeah, let's have this. And the RGB code is 231, 84 and 128. So now you have to go to the fill and type the, this command RGB 241 red, 84 blue and uh, 128 sorry 84 green and 128 blue. Yeah, and let's make change the font. Yeah, text font. Now it is in Arial. Let's change into so can we select the font? No. Let's see. Font name. Let's Google it. So, yeah, this font would be good. I have tried this. Why is it not changing? I will change. So now I think I have found how to change it. Now 
text style double quotes bold so now let's reset it why is it not work so I have done a mistake over here that I need to select the font before I am typing the text now let's see so yeah now it looks fine I guess now it's time to add the score whenever uh, it is touching it for that we need to create a variable let's go to text again And next, we just variable score equals, let's, the initial value should be 0. So, I am over here, we are going to give plus score. Yeah, now it is 0. Now, in the if condition over here, we have to use score equals score plus one. Yeah. Now let's check it out. Yeah, it works. So finally we have completed it. And next I think we can do a small change let's go to the animation let's duplicate it and now fill go to fill pixels of same color with the this blue So do as well as you can. Yeah, it looks fine now. Now let's name it as BG1. So now the thing is we are actually going to do something cool. That first over here, yeah. Again we are going to set the variable for BG equals create bg1 equals create sprite two hundred comma two hundred comma four hundred comma four hundred yeah and next we have to let's simply just copy and paste the command Let's just name it as BG1, BG1, BG1. And again, we have to copy and paste this thing. BG1. And here we have to give BG1 dot visible equals. Sorry, false. Yeah, next we have to add an if condition. If BG1, sorry, if score equals, equals, equals. just click enter and here uh, we have to give as one thing that bg1 bg dot visible
equals false and bd1 dot visible equals true actually we can do something cool over here is another one thing that score uh, we are going to use this modulo again so if score when divided by 60 sorry 15 or let's give 10 10 it should be equals it should be equal if it is equal to 0 now let's give it as 15 and if it is equal to 0, zero uh, then this should happen then again another one command if score when score is divided with 10 if it is 0 then why are we getting an error sorry we have to give equals price Then let's simply copy and paste this and you here true and here false. Yeah, now let's run the program. So when we go to 50, it should change to the day why is it not changing oops i have not set up the animation i think that may be the problem no i have set it why am i not getting it so if we have to do this if condition bg1 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 let's test it again yeah it works fine now let's again go to 20 and check yeah it works fine so that's it we have completed our game and then next, let's see how to convert it into an app in the next video. So that's it for this video. It has been a long video to, to create and uh, the, uh, keep it as a part one of creating an Android application. In the next video, we will be creating and uh, create, converting this website, uh, website game into an app. Uh, application for the mobile uh, for both android and ios and uh, uh, I, uh, the link uh, of my game uh, is given in the description below and you can just copy it uh, and you can paste it in the tab and uh, you can play the game over here and also when you give view code here you can get the whole code and now you can just learn by the code or you can do some modifications. And please, uh, if you have done the uh, thing by yourself and uh, if you have done some or you have done some modifications to my thing, please do. 
uh, yeah, give the link in the description below. So thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe.